Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex uh, quick look and take a look at the dollar versus yen as we start the new trading week. What are the uh, key support levels? What are the key targets on the top side uh, after a sharp move to the downside last week? I'm going to go through that in this video, so let's get started. Last week, the dollar yen uh, reached a high early on Monday and uh, closed near the lows on Friday. Uh, this uh, move, sharp move to the downside was helped by lower yields. Uh, the yields in the U.S. Uh, moved lower, and that uh, caused an over 3.2% decline in the dollar versus yen in the trading week. Now, also technicals also helped in the process. Uh, some key technical levels at the uh, price moved below included the uh, 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart right here. And you can see how when we fell below that level and tested, we rotated to the downside. We also fell below the 200 day moving average. That's this green line right here, 151.977. I'll talk about that more in just a second. Uh, after coming down to test the 38.2% retracement, we get close to it right here. I just sniffed it. We rotated back to the 200 day moving average. What did we do? We found sellers against that level and rotated to the downside. Ultimately, during Friday's uh, and late Thursday and early Friday's trade, the price did move below the 38.2% retracement, traded above and below the levels through here, as you can say, see before rotating to the downside, closing near the low for the week. Now also in play uh, near the 38.2 is a sold high price right here, which comes in at 150.329 in that level, along with the 38.2 is now close resistance in trading today. If the price can stay below that level, um, uh, that would uh, keep the sellers more in control. As most traders know, I like to see the price move uh, on the trend move move up uh, when it trends to the upside uh, to get and stay below the 38.2% retracement. If it can do that, then the sellers are showing that they uh, sh are um, not mean business and they uh, want to keep the bias more to the downside. So this area is going to be close resistance to start the new trading week on the downside. Um, however, the what we can uh, see is that the price uh, on Friday and again today approached this low, uh, this uh, swing area, the high of the swing area. Comes in at 149.356 in the low price that we saw on Friday. And today both came in around the 130, 149.45. So got within about 10 pips of the high price of that swing area. The, that, that level, along with the 100 day moving average, that's this blue line in the chart at 149.038. And the low of the swing area at 149.08, uh, uh, actually it's 83, will need to be all be uh, um, broken uh, in order to increase the bearish bias uh, going forward. If it does, then we we'll look toward the 50% retracement at 148.156. Uh, right now, the current price is trading at 150.03. Uh, we are seeing a rebound off of the uh, low price that we saw at around the 46 uh, level uh, in uh, trading here today. Again, the 150.18 level is a 38.2% retracement, and that uh, swing area up to 150.329 is going to be a key level on the top side as well to watch. We can uh, find resistance sellers against that level. Uh, the the uh, downside momentum can uh, resume. So that's my look, uh, technical look at the dollar versus the yen to start the trading week. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune to trade. Bye-bye now.